Hey guys, Super Friends Day is going well, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys like two kind of meta ways to get into the 1.5 GT. Overall, I really like this mount. It has a bunch of like different possibilities and endings and different ways to get in and out of it. And so I think that you guys will really enjoy this tutorial. By the way, I'll be using the Good Life Yo's Gulch for this tutorial. And without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, hey guys, so first I'm going to show you what these two like entrances to the 1.5 GT look like from my perspective. That's the first one. And that's the second one. All right, so let's jump right into it. I'm gonna start with this first one because I think it's a little bit easier to actually get into the mount than the other one. And it's, just, it's a little bit more simple in my opinion. You can start with either one. All right, so let's begin. Step one is turn your hand inward like so. And now I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of an easier way to get into this first one. And then I'll show you guys a little bit of a harder way to get into this first one. So the easiest way in my opinion is you start right here, and you go like that, and then you'll drop and like so. So let me break that one down and then you'll be able to get in more of like one motion. So here's what I mean. Turn your hand inward. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your throw hand right here and come from the front like so and grab the string like that. So you should be in a mount that looks like this. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna pop the O coming from the back onto this string right here. So you're not, you're not coming from like that. You should be coming from the back closest to you just like that and you're gonna lay it right there it should be a mount that looks like that okay so we've done that first step we're right in this mount now essentially what's gonna happen is you're gonna pop yo into the air by kind of it's kind of like an Eli hop motion where you pop yo up and then you move your hands in to make it go higher that's essentially what's happening with this popping motion so we're here and we're gonna pop the O up. Now you see we have this string right here that's connected to our throw hand, like so. And you're gonna what you're gonna do is aim with your non-throw hand thumb directly for that string. You're gonna try to grab it, you're gonna try to curl it under, like so. And you should be in a mount that looks like that. So that's all gonna happen kind of in midair. That's why it's kind of hard to perform. So we're here. What's gonna happen is you're gonna see that string and you're gonna grab it, and then when the O comes down, you're gonna go like that. And so what I'm doing there essentially is once I'm like this, letting go with this finger right here, this is my non-throw hand pointer finger like that, and you'll be in the correct mount. So let me break that down for you guys just one more time. When you're in this mount right here, this, you're gonna see the string right here and you're gonna try to undercut the yoke kind of with it. You're gonna bring your hand around like that. Again, you'll be in this mount. You let go with your pointer finger, but keep holding with your thumb and you'll be in the mount. Now, how to actually do this first entrance properly without this kind of step is you just gotta kind of break this down into one fluid motion. So with this step, I was going like that and like that and then letting go. It's gonna happen all in one motion like that. So let me break this down for you guys. It's the exact same thing kind of happening except you're just not gonna land on this string right here. So you're gonna pop the O into the air. It's the same process. You turn your hand inward, grab like this. You're gonna be popping the O up into the air coming from the back like this. And you're just going to see that string and then pop down just like that. So it's exa the exact same thing. Just I think it's a little bit easier to learn this trick with this intermediate step right here of laying it onto here and then going like that. But essentially, you just you're, it's the same exact process. You just don't land on this string. So it's going to pop into the ear, grab that string, and push it down. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. That is literally just the trick. You'll be in this mount right here, and you're going to pop the yo into the back, so more towards you, just like that, and you should be out of the mount. From there, you can do whatever you know tricks you want. That is the first entrance, and I think the easier entrance into the 1.5 GT. Now let's get onto this other entrance that I have, which in my opinion looks a little bit more stylish, but it's a little bit harder to do. So let's get right into it. For this one, we're going to start with the same exact process, where we turn our hand inward like this, grab from the front, and we'll be in this mount right here. Now essentially what you wanna do is we're gonna pinch right here with our point, like we're gonna pinch with our thumb coming from our throw hand onto our pointer finger like this. And you're gonna drop the string coming from your non-throw hand, just like that. And you should be in this mount. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take it and undercut the O like that. But there's a very specific way to do this so that you actually get into the proper mount. You'll see, when I drop the string right here, the string, it kind of like this string right here the, with the slack, 
it kind of floats around. Now you'll notice I'm pinching right here with my thumb again, like this. The string kind of floats around, you'll notice. It's, once it's here, it kind of likes to float around. What you need to do is you need to make sure that you guide this string into the back half of the yoke. If this string right here, this, this slack right coming right here is, let's say it's over here, and you just try to do this, this trick, as you can see, there's no mount that you're going to end in. So essentially what you need to do is ensure that this string right here is right in the back half of the yoke like this. If it's not in the back half coming over here, and that you, um, when you land on it, you won't be in the proper mount. So just want to make sure you guys understand that this string, this slack, you must land on it to perform this trick. You're just going to take this string right here and roll the yo onto this slack right here. You're going to aim for that slack and roll it on. It is a little bit harder to perform that. It that takes a fair amount more practice than I think in than the first one. You're going to move your non-throw hand finger in a clockwise direction around the O coming from the back. I think this way it looks a little bit more flashy. It looks kind of cool with the slack. You just lay it right on and you're in the cool mount. However, if you really want to do this trick like super stylishly, my good friend Tyler Brooks, he has a really kind of flashy way of doing this in which he kind of just pops the O up in all in one motion like gets it into the proper mount. So I'll show you a video of that right there. As you can see, he does it all really kind of quickly. It looks really kind of smooth and sharp. The way that he does that is you just want to make your movements very sharp. So when you're going to land onto this string very hard, and immediately you're going to pinch right here, and then you're going to land onto this really hard. So I think it looks really kind of cool when people do that because it just looks very like sharp. So you're immediately, once you land onto this string right here, you immediately let go with this finger and immediately do it like that. You just make your movements very defined and decisive to get into the proper mount. But yeah, that's just a little added thing. You guys can do the trick however you want. I just wanted to note that I think it looks really cool when people do it kind of like that. But yeah, that basically is it. Hope you guys were able to follow along with this tutorial. And as usual with any of my tutorials, at the very end of this video, I'll include some very like close-up slow motion clips of how to do the trick. All right. Thanks. All right, thank you guys all so much for watching this tutorial. If you guys have any like questions as usual, be sure to leave them down below in the comments or you can like DM me on Instagram and stuff like that. Just contact me and I'll help you out with the trick. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, be sure to leave a like. Also, if you guys are new here and haven't seen my videos before, definitely hit that subscribe button because I post videos just about every single week. I hope you guys all have a great rest of the day and I'll see you next time. Peace.